Da -da 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 Show World. Welcome to Show World, gamers. Josh here. And as this week draws to a close, I wanted to take a moment to look at this week's new game releases, gaming announcements, and a few news stories. If this is your first time on the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and join in on the fun. Alright gamers, as always, we will start off with this week's new game releases. And we're going to start off with what was a surprise release this week. The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog released on April Fool's Day, and it actually ended up being a free-to-play murder mystery game you can go download right now on Steam for PC. There is no word on a console release or how long this game will actually be available for, so if you're interested in it, I suggest going and play this game right away. Now, Meet Your Maker released this week, and this game actually looks like a lot of fun, with one part of the game being a crazy Doom-style first-person castle raid-style game while dodging enemies and traps. While on the other hand, you also have to, in a tower defense style, create the castle with tons of traps and enemies to thwart other players from completing your castle. The game is out now on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series systems, and PC. Now Road 96 Mile Zero released this week and is a prequel to last year's Road 96. The game is a narrative adventure game with a variety of gameplay mechanics, including some music-based rhythm style gameplay. The game is available on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox One, Xbox Series systems, and PC. As a dark art. Also released this week was Ghosts Grim Grimoire Once like More. Illusions. It released this week on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation systems. This is they another student attending a witchcraft and wizardry school, but if you're looking for a Hogwarts game. style experience, this is a much different game. The game is text heavy. It is a strategy style game. Now, we did play the game here on the channel, so I will put a link for that video at the end of this one. If you are interested in this game, I would suggest checking out that video. Now, let's take a look at some gaming announcements. And we will start at EVO Japan, where over the weekend, famed fighting game company SNK announced a ton of new info, including updates for King of the Fighters 15, among other games, including a reminder that a new Fatal Fury is still fiercely in development. Now, Hammer Watch 2 received an announcement trailer this week. This indie co-op is an open-world, top-down, hack-and-slash, pixel art game where players become an elite soldier in King Rollins Resistance Force, and it is coming to the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series systems, and PC via Steam, and this game actually looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm keeping my eyes on this one. Now, we finally got an announcement trailer unveiling that the pixel remasters of the first six Final Fantasy games are coming to both the Nintendo Switch as well as the PlayStation 4 on April 19. If you're a fan of classic turn-based RPGs, this is a must-have collection of some of the most iconic games in video game history. We now pretty much have this collection on everything except for the Xbox, so hopefully for the Xbox gamers out there, we get an announcement soon that it's coming to the Xbox. Now, Hidden Through Time 2, Myths and Magic receives an announcement trailer this week. The game is kind of a hide-and-seek style game where you have to either hide or find items hidden throughout hand-drawn style levels based on different time periods. And this game, it, it looks interesting. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. Alright gamers, let's finish up with a few news stories from this week in gaming. Now the Super Mario Bros. movie released this week in theaters worldwide to kinda mediocre critic reviews. Now we did see the movie ourselves and we really enjoyed it. I highly recommend going and see it for yourselves. If you're looking for a fun Super Mario movie, a fun family movie to watch, definitely go check the movie out in theater. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Now in more movie news, Legendary Entertainment also announced that they are teaming up with Capcom and they will be co-producing an all-new Street Fighter live-action movie. And that's pretty much all the news we got so far. They did say to stay tuned that more news will be coming in the future. 
and after some previews and soft openings, the new Tron light cycle coaster did finally officially open to the general public in Disney World. The ride allows you to sit on the ride vehicles as though you are on an actual motorcycle, giving you completely unique experience can compared to other coasters. And man, I really want to go ride this ride. I think it looks really cool. All right, gamers, that concludes this week in review for the week ending on April 7th. The week started with word that Sonic had met an untimely demise. Then, rumors of Sony entering the portable gaming console market began swirling. And the week ended with the Super Mario movie taking the world by storm as it released in theaters worldwide. But let me know anything we may have missed in the comments, and thanks for joining us today, gamers. Show's World, out.